Hey, this is Brett from Hitman Heart, and you're listening to the Smack Draw Podcast. <laughs> Are, are you going to tell us when we're not supposed to talk, or? Oh. <laughs> you were talking, so. Yeah, I was talking, but that's fine. Hi, what's up? I, <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking start this shit. <sighs> As, this is a super show of... Three of my favorite people from three different podcasts. From Gitcho, Justin, from the number one podcast on Pornhub, Smackin' Raw, Matt Ritter, and one third of Young Kings Wrestling and the host of the Havoc Hour, Mr. Reek Havoc. What's up, guys? Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? Oh, I didn't introduce myself? Crazy, Reek. You probably shouldn't do that. Oh, oh, so you're passing it. Okay, all right. I didn't know we were doing this. <clears throat> in, in future, maybe I should do this and open it up, but okay. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, our host this evening for these festivities of debauchery, the one and only the Rookie of the Year, the North Star of the Smack Raw podcast, the soon-to-be host of the She Leak Showcase, that's She Leak Showcase for everyone who keeps trying to abbreviate it, uh, <laughs> The sun around which all wrestling podcasts must orbit. The one, the only Miss Katie Katie Bay Bay. You're welcome. There we go. Yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love what that you're intro. just holding the mic, by the way, Matt. It's great. What are you talking about? <laughs> having, he's over here. He's over here having promo class. That's all I'm <laughs> He is. You gotta take it to school and stuff. So Only the rat right can host promo class. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is the rat gonna make an appearance? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Might be for the better. Let's be fair. Yeah, He's I don't want to. up a lot recently. You guys, you guys have like relationships with other places and stuff that isn't Pornhub, and I'm not trying to like <laughs> get you guys kicked out of whatever like goodwill that you guys have created by coming on and doing my shit. So oh, I mean, yeah. I keep coming on to your show, so. Ye- you keep coming on to my show, but me bringing the rack to this show, which is associated with other stuff, True. different story, different story. True. So you're really just going to gimmick that the whole time, aren't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you're the fucking worst. Justin, what's up? Yes. How you been? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, you know, we had dinner with my family, my cousins, you know what I'm saying? Did a little, you know, su- you know, drinking here and there, but uh, it's good. I'm lit. I'm excited. Super show. Oh, this is going to be fun. Super this show? Be fun. So, so, Katie, why don't you tell us what you have planned for the super show? Nothing. I have nothing planned. This is on the fly. So, so you're telling me that you have been harassed oh, for I, months. Not harassing. Oh. Attacking. Oh. We need to get Stop. together, and you want to do a super show that you had this the super show that you wanted to do, and we mm-hmm. finally made it happen. The day is here, and we have nothing to talk about. You, you were you were okay. getting angry about this on numerous occasions. No, okay. First of all, <laughs> stop. Um, <laughs> I wasn't getting angry. I was just like, how is there never, never? I have my own. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need that one. Um, <laughs> okay. I was just saying, how is there never a time that the four of us are free? I also have to say thank you to Vince, who was busy, so this could happen. So, shout out to Vincente. Muchas gracias, señor. Much- <laughs> shout out to Vince for being busy so that the rest of us could be on. Yes. Yeah, ba- basically, I was trying to get this Dragon Ball podcast, because again, even though he's my co-host, another four people that just can never seem to get together are... You, me, Vince, and Justin Reek. And uh, when he's like, oh, well, I'm going to go out and get drunk tonight. And then I'm doing uh, an episode of Straight Talk tomorrow with Reek. So he's not available and neither am I. I'm like, well, I'll just let Katie know everyone seemed to be available. And uh, we'll go from there. There we go. See? So thank you, Vince. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. <laughs> so I can't do the rack on an episode where my child might have to make an appearance, so. If I oh. disappear for a little while, I have to go get her and then bring her down here. And 
Right. Try to rock her back to right. sleep. Oh, that's nice. That's good oh yeah. Thing. How's that going? How's that going? The sleep thing. It's going good. Um, yeah. Until like right now, where she keeps waking <laughs> up and then going back to sleep. Other than that, she's pretty much slept through the night. I blame Justin. you. You got to do like the huh? What's up? What? I blame you for his kid waking up. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. At first, it kind of sounded weird. Like, you blame me for his kid. Like, I gave birth or something like that. I helped him, like, you know, I had this baby <laughs> process. Which I wouldn't mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he compliments you on how you good, look good today. So, you know. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Um, Yeah, the, well, the baby thing is crazy because sometimes you have to be like a ninja when you put them down. And you have to be like a ninja when you leave. You know, you got to watch out for the creaks in the floor. Possible, like, you know. Toys that makes you know squeaky noise. So like a quiet place. Kind of yeah. Well, basically, the yeah, quiet place. Exactly like that. Or right. like that episode of Big Bang Theory where like they mapped out every squeak in the floor and then built yes. like a, a gymnasium that they had to kind of jump on and spots they yep. could move and stuff they could climb on to get to the baby without creaking on the floor. No, you have no idea what I'm talking about. No, I know what you're saying. Like, it was like an obstacle now. course. Really? They bust out the map like Home Alone, and they I had do, a little. I do not watch Big Bang Theory. Oh no. Oh. I do not. You guys, wait, okay, we gotta have, we, we, that should be a watch along. One episode. Is it, is it because time. there's no representation on that show? It's, it's not even that. It's just, I, I've, I've never been into that, that, that humor. Like, that geeky, uh, dirty, know. sweaty humor? Yeah, it just, yeah. It, 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 it never does it for me. Like, you watch my show and <laughs> laugh. Oh, no, how dare you? No. We, we, no, we, no, we, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> that that's a whole different. Like, whole different type type of humor we talking about. Like, okay, let's let's get into this because hu humor obviously is you know my favorite thing. Like, what kind of humor? How, what kind of humor do y'all like? I'll start off with my boy Reek. I mean, what's 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 the like, give me like a show, like a show, like, give me like a show. Oh, I, well, I mean, listen, I grew up watching South Park, Chappelle oh, Show, God, and yes, there you go. Like, you know, it's nope. a lot. Look, like 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 that that Big Bang Theory is more like you know science fair geeky. I feel you. Like yeah, that that I just I, I can't I can't laugh at it. I don't know what like, I, I tried. I, I sat down and I tried. It just it was like it, it wasn't doing it. Like nah. Yeah yeah I feel you. It's like you got to be kind of like in uh, you got to be an honor student to kind of get some of those jokes. You know. Yeah yeah. So it's like <laughs> it, they 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 know they geared towards a demographic. Like they're not stupid. Yeah but right, like, right right right. I, I feel it, it, it don't do it for me. I wasn't that smart in school. <laughs> As a former honor student. <laughs> <laughs> See? There you go. I feel like I, I'm dead serious. What subjects? What subjects? Let's go. What subjects? I was in honors everything in high school, and I took AP English and AP... What? Uh, yeah. Nice. That's why I keep it smart. It's hard. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, you, you Daryl was like that too. Actually, most of my friends are like that, except for yeah. yours truly. All right, so uh, I'm with Reek, South Park, Chappelle Show, uh, Rick and Morty. Obviously, I enjoy Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of, real quick, did you see that picture of Vince and Donnell Rollins? Yes, Ashy Larry, that, bro. That is on the things I never thought I would see ever list right there. That looks recent, doesn't it? Yeah, it was it was just from yesterday because oh. he went to because Dave Chappelle had a show out oh, in Connecticut. Right. Yes, yes. So yes. Vince went up there, and then they they got a picture with him and Donnell. I'm like, yo, that that's like the best. Like it's two cultures, two separate worlds coming together. You, know you have saying? an idea what they're talking about, Katie? Yeah, I saw the picture. I just literally oh, okay. <laughs> you look you look very confused. You I look very look confused. Like that, so thanks. What the Chappelle show? Say, I, I was gonna say if. Listen, it was more it was more my brother's thing. I would watch occasionally with him. My brother's like five years older, so Okay. I was what gonna say it? if you did not know what we were talking about, I was gonna have to leave. <laughs> oh, Yo, man, guess, the face you, know? you made, I've never seen that before. I was scared, dude. Favorite Chappelle show <laughs> skit. Oh, that's tough. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The Clayton Bigsby for me is the and that was the first episode. I can always go back and watch that, and I'll just die laughing. Clayton Big. I'm gonna go off the beaten path because I'm not gonna say Rick James or Prince. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say Pop Copy because yes! that was 
<laughs> that was hilarious. Also, right the first the episode too. Also on the first episode too. Yes, yep. rock copy. Right off the jump, that was yes. hilarious. Yes. What were for you? Me, for me, it was the uh, like the ghetto fucking um, Sesame Street. Oh, the VD, the VD. Yes. Puppet? The VD puppets. That that's what it was for me. <laughs> or on that on that first episode, the chick with the really big boobs who like wish she didn't have big boobs. Oh, the the uh, Mishy, Mishy Eclipse commercial. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Both of those. I love man. <laughs> I love those. A- anybody listening to this? Check all those episodes out we just mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listening or watching. Listening or watching. Yeah, because I forgot we're also gonna be um, on video too. Um, Beat yeah. my dick like it owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Q Tip. Q Tip was on that. And then the crabs when the crabs comes on, and he's like, I oh my god, in wild days. It was fantastic. Bruh. It was great. I didn't. It was great. I didn't watch it enough to like remember anything. To, like, oh, take it oh you need to see that. That should be a watch you party. Yo. Yes. Yeah. Do I need to add it to like a list of shit I need to watch? Yeah. That? Oh yeah. Yeah. You've got you a long enough list already. I don't think you got time for that. This is something that you're gonna have to do like on the side. Wait, what, what? What else is? What else is on the list? He sent me a list of. Uh, to watch. Well, so I found out that she hadn't seen some shit, and after I hooked her up with uh, basically Blockbuster, um, I told her I was like, "Should I just make you a list of all the shit that's in there that you should watch?" And she's like, "Actually, yeah, you should do that." I was like, "Please." So I just kind of went through and picked a bunch of the horror movies in there that would uh, I thought she should see. Some of which she's seen, but. I don't know what she has seen or what she hasn't seen. So uh didn't see a Halloween, lot on that list. Halloween 2018, uh Alien, Aliens. Oh yes. The oh, Belco yeah. experiment. Uh that Death, oh my god. Dead Silence. That I love that movie. Don't I didn't breathe. think I would. Saw so Don't Breathe. The Exorcist. Mm. You never seen The Exorcist? No, he made a list. So I was just I've seen I don't know what she has list. seen or hasn't seen, so I just, just oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, like, doing the Jericho's horror list right now. Like, I was about Jericho's to say. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth, the Killer Cut, the remake. Um, Halloween Three, since I told her she should watch the entire franchise, and that's kind of separate. So it, it's a good um, movie. You just, you just, you can't look at it through the continuity. If you just look at it just purely by itself, it's a great movie. Mm-hmm. Hills Have Eyes remake, which is going to be a hard watch just so you know like there's yes. some difficult scenes yep. in there um right. yep that and last house on the left same thing for Ooh, the same yes. reason the director's uh, cut if you do the yes um so got... same thing with like the devil's rejects and like oh, uh yeah. house of thousand corpses and all that stuff. no that these are rougher than i think of those yeah. really well yeah, they make you feel have like you seen the hills have eyes remake uh shit, i don't think i have where the where the family's camper breaks down in the desert right. No, no, no. I was thinking a wrong turn. So then you need to go see that. You should put that on your list. Uh, There's a scene in there that's going to be really hard to watch. A couple scenes, actually. Um, Same thing, Last House on the Left, the remake that's in there. Um, We got Insidious 1 through 4, which I think she has seen. Mm -hmm. Uh, It, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, Jaws, Mm -hmm. Lights Out, uh, the entire Nightmare on Elm Street series, Poltergeist, Ready or Not. Wait, you, you haven't seen what? I haven't seen all of the Nightmare on Elm Streets. I've seen some of them. I haven't seen them all. Will you okay. stop? Okay. I, I told you this is essential viewing. Go ahead, man. Ready or not, seven. I like that. The Shining. Ooh. The yes. Strangers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Hunt. Which the Strangers was the last movie. movie that genuinely terrified me. Yes. Yeah, my my wife still won't watch that movie. It freaks her the fuck out. Um, Same. The Thing, both uh, John Carpenter's remake and then the one with Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Um, Trick or Treat and Wrong Turn. Oh wrong! Oh, mm. I didn't like. I didn't think I was gonna like Wrong Turn, but I liked it. It was. It was. It was pretty good. Can't wait! So, so excited. <laughs> so percent percentage wise, how much of that list have you actually seen? Not a lot. Yeah. One hundred percent. I. I. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm. I'm stupid because I just realized who I asked that question to. So I'm just uh, scratch. Is it like half or more than half? I need context behind the idea of Katie not being able to do math. Well, because I said I said percentages, and I I don't I don't want to don't want to mess her up at all. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me just you can go straight not the go there. So <laughs> I mess up math I'm, 
one time, and now it's just like, oh, kitty can't count. Which, how fucking dare you? I can't. I'm just, I'm, I'm just when did you mess up now? On an episode of fucking, I think it was NXT, I was, I was going by myself, and I miscounted twice. I just, I was, I was, <laughs> what? Oh, please. She miscounted, she miscounted after I literally counted out the names, because I think it was, a, it was a, going into Stand and Deliver, that battle royal of uh the, the the two matches that they have with, with like eight to, people in them. To be fair, that gauntlet eliminator battle royal thing was all fucked up and confusing. It was. It was. But see, she was asking for a count. I said, okay. I counted out each individual person in the match, and I typed it into the chat. I did. She read the chat and mm-hmm. still got the number wrong. Listen, doing a show by Hold yourself on. is stressful. <laughs> so, to be fair, that was that, the one you did by yourself, right? Yeah, I did. So yeah. if I if I remember, didn't we do a sweaty session in the chat? I think we did. So that probably threw her off when she had to read all the yeah, uh, compare. Lot of oh my god! god. I, I compare remember wrestlers that. to candy. Yeah, you guys also, kept doing that too. You shouldn't be making fun of her if you did the count and she read it wrong. That means she's dyslexic, not that she can't do math. <laughs> oh my god! That's rude. <laughs> That's oh. rude. Hey, I I'm. I don't. I don't diagnose these things. I just make observations. Yeah. Okay. Fucking whatever. Just, how just, dare you? How fucking dare you? <laughs> the audacity I am shown. But uh, to run it back to the humor. So, what kind of humor do you like, Katie? Oh God, I don't. I don't know. I, Anything? Uh, Anything? I mean, growing up, I watched like South Park, Mad TV, like shit like that. Okay. Mad, Mad TV, TV was on when you were growing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it was like, it was probably like it's like. Yeah. Season. It was. I mean, I probably ended up catching like a lot of like the reruns, but I, I yeah. watched it as a child. Probably shouldn't. Yeah. Been, but yeah. Mad TV had some good stuff though. Yeah. It Aerie did. Spears, Aerie Spears is on there, you know. Like me and Justin had like in living color and shit. Oh, know? dude, don't even get me started in our our era of. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like... The good Saturday Night Live. The good Mad TV. <laughs> Look what I can do. Def Jam Comedy. We had Def Jam Comedy when it was like... You had to be on HBO to find that. There were. Yeah. What do you guys want right. from me? Comic View. We had Comic View on BT. All right. You guys keep talking. Make this entertaining. I'll be back. Okay. Uh-oh. We're about, we're about to get PG? What? <laughs> I mean, she's nine months old, and then... I'm not PG around her, so I think you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, calm, calm down. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. We gotta, if we gotta put filters on for the kids, it's all good. Yeah. I just need to make sure. Matt also you know. Good point. He has fucking headphones Maybe. on. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I didn't think of that. Yeah. But since you guys are both going to SummerSlam, right? Are y'all gonna have things to like meet up? Try to meet up. I think What's the plan the... is oh, yeah. to try to meet up, right? Yeah, because sure, right? I gotta. What section are you in? Uh, I'm in 128. Ooh, look at you, boy. I'm yeah. in. Okay, I don't remember now. Hold on. I'm somewhere down there. Listen to you. Wow, somewhere down there. Yeah, Damn. fuck it. Listen, I was just like, oh, <laughs> I ain't got money. The Patreon money coming in. The I Patreon like, oh, money. I ain't got in. money. I literally bought a ticket to SummerSlam. Yeah, I see that you just bought AEW tickets. I've seen that on the Twitter. Shout I out. tell you, I was like, Yo, you just, just going crazy spending money now. I'm telling Listen, you, I somebody must have hit you with the Patreon. Like, oh, I'll, I'll send you some, girl. Don't worry. You know? <laughs> no, that Patreon man, is nothing. That's um, section wow. 119. <laughs> Okay. What? Close up right by each other. No. What about a TC? Where he's at? Shout out to TC. TC's like up high. <laughs> he's yeah. He got he got some nosebleeds. I think he's in. I think he said like three thirty. Okay. I don't know. He but, said it on the episode I did with you guys. I just can't remember. But yeah, the he, viewing in that place there. is like really good though, isn't it? No matter where you're at, that's what I was reading. So so what I did was, and usually Club? like. I, I, it, it don't work no more, cause no. that it used to be like you go on there, and you click on where you want to sit, and it'll give you like a, a, a seat view. view. Yeah, it don't do that. So mm-hmm. I literally I went on YouTube and I found like the virtual tour that people take of the stadium, and took a look from like where I'm where the seats would be at. I'm like, okay, cool. 
you, you, get, you know you got a good seat. I'm gonna tell yep. you right now. Shout out to all the people that randomly do that. I used to see that those people like take random videos of where they're sitting, and thank God they those people uploaded on YouTube because mm. that'd be helping me too when like StubHub don't be doing that. You know, yeah, so I, didn't even, I didn't even do uh, that. I was just like, I don't want to be kind of close, so fuck it. Right. <laughs> Whoops. And you uh, okay? So so that that's how easy that decision was when you were contemplating it for weeks. I wasn't contemplating it for weeks. Don't get it twisted. No, I was contemplating it for like a day and a half. Mhm. Mhm. Well, listen. If this, if you're yeah. gonna fly out there and you're gonna go to this big show, why not try to, to get the closest thing possible that, that you can that if you can get it? You know. Yeah. Especially because I've never been to Vegas. Right. I gotta experience it. What? In which way? Always? Or are we just talking? Uh, Hi! Who we just <laughs> I mean, I... John, hello! I, I did last time I went out there about two there, years ago. Okay, there you go, boy. There you go, Big Flair. You had to show him the Flair? real deal. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to... I had to go. Right, you had to make him say woo. Him. You had to make him say woo. Oh I had to style and profile because I was I was out there for like a week, so you know. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be yeah, out there that long, but. Me either. I'm gonna do probably three days. I'm doing like That's three enough. or four. That's yeah. enough to enjoy Vegas. That's enough. Because because we gonna because you know we we gonna link up. We gonna do a show. Probably do a recap after SummerSlam. Oh, like. God. That's gonna be so dope. Yeah. That's gonna be so dope. Wait, Reek, where are you? Are you in Florida? Are you in? I'm in PA. He's in I'm on the other side. Yeah, I, I don't know why I keep forgetting. I'm in the other side of PA from her. Yeah. So I'm on okay. the... Uh, I don't even know what side I'm on. Fuck. But you're in the city, though. Like, you're more closest to Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, I'm like 20 minutes from downtown. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he's um, more near Philly. Okay. To make it easier uh, to determine. Because, like, we're... Where we went to for Daryl's wedding in Caddis, Ohio, it's like I think an hour out of Pittsburgh. Okay. So it's like it's pretty yeah. close. Yeah, I mean yeah. Cleveland's like two hours for me, so. Okay. I've gone up there a okay. few times. I was just cool, there in cool. September for a wedding. Oh, that's that where you went? Is that where you? Uh, okay, when we talked to you last time, you're in that like lodge looking place, or hotel. Are you talking about, talking about your just recently? Your yeah, right. Is that no, I was at the at? beach. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was in South Carolina. Oh, there you go. And then I there go to go. Florida in two weeks. Okay. Okay. Look at that, you. Go that. On. Don't be making faces. No. Okay. Listen. Open the t- open the Tinder. You don't uh, you never know. No. Another another vacation. It's only for a few days, and it's going down with my friend to see her family, because like all of the cousins and like shit who came up for her. Uh, I guess technically now her half brother's wedding. They all were up here. Oh, look right. at her. Precious. Oh, look at that. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. It's... Look at look at that. Wow. I love the pajamas. Look at the pajamas. <laughs> she ain't going to sleep no time soon. No. Love the pajamas. Nah. <laughs> nah, she's wide awake. She's all alert. She's like, oh, I want to see what this is about right here. Look at the people. Look at the people. people. Did you see a bunch of people on the screen, too? <laughs> no, you're not going to look over there? Nope. Okay. <laughs> She's going to look completely <laughs> away. You're looking oh, at man. all of this you got on the wall. Like, what is going on down here? She's like, Daddy, the fuck? Oh, hey, look, there's the cat. She's probably like seeing, like, which one am I going to grab? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my heart. Man, y'all need to stop bringing your kids on camera and shit. Wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I tell Kyle this all the time. I got I got baby fever because y'all be bringing your kids out and Uh-oh. nothing ain't gonna happen. But like, you hear that, people? Baby fever, stop. y'all. Shut your mouth. I do be like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Everyone got some cute kids. What do, What do you want from me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Most I, of I her have any of my own. Daughter, so. Most of my daughters miss my wife. So. What man? <laughs> what did I miss? What were you guys talking about while I was gone? We're talking about, uh, oh, the SummerSlam. You know how they're going to, like, meet up and stuff in SummerSlam. And it's going to be in Vegas. And uh, Katie's talking about how, like, you know, she wants to experience Vegas all kinds of ways. I would have talked about that when I wasn't here, too. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the second he started explaining it, yep. I'm just like, I was just like there we on. go. <laughs> I was like, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Now, I will say this. Uh-oh. We have four weeks left until the 100th episode. So... 
in in all likelihood, you know, if things don't go the way they're supposed to go over there, by the time SummerSlam comes, you know, we could all be doing that recap that I was mentioning as a unit, you know, all together. You never know. Do you see the TV people now? Yeah. Just throwing the throwing the ideas out here. I, I like those ideas. Throwing man. That's a good idea, Reed. That's a I'm great saying. idea. Uh, maybe we can get, <laughs> maybe we can get Super Show t shirts happening. Hey. Know, she, see how much to give me the mandible claw. <laughs> <laughs> But that's gonna be super dope that y'all linking up for SummerSlam. That's gonna be cool. That is gonna be cool. I I that's literally good. am only gonna know him and TC in Vegas. So, yay. That's okay. That's a good group. And what? And that's a good group to be around. You know. Catch, maybe, maybe catch Magic Mike while you're there. <laughs> they 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 do those shows. So I mean, yeah. I might. <laughs> and what about it? Yeah. Hey. Uh, there you go. Thunder down under. Thunder down under. <laughs> hey, I mean, uh, no, no, no judgment. You, you do what you gotta do. Uh, First RuPaul time has a show out there too, right? Doesn't RuPaul have a show out there too? I think so. Yeah, those shows are fire. Every, every, everybody's got a show. Yeah, I feel like everybody does. It's like the only thing I didn't do in Vegas was go hit up some shows. Right. I mean, you'll be there for three, four days. Tired. <laughs> yeah, I actually got a bunch of people that I got to see out there too. Like, it's like crazy. I have friends out in Vegas. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I did, look. I was there for a week. I met a lot of people. I know you told me your story. Popular man. He's a popular man. You know. He is. Popular. Yeah. Popular man, and I'm in high demand. It'd be like that sometimes. Oh, shit. Okay, we out here. Hey, bars. hey, hey! That's his shirt right there, homie. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's up? What's up? Matt, you alright? What's up? You going through something? I'm just. <laughs> I'm here trying to feed my baby. You guys are praising mediocre bars and shit. Like, give us something special. Come on now. <laughs> Put it on a shirt. The fuck's going on here? <laughs> Damn. Damn Barely even rhymed. Oh. <laughs> hey, listen. I, I, I tried. All right, I tried. You did try, and I, I will give you an A for effort. They are giving you bonus points for no goddamn reason. Listen, listen he, you know, he, he didn't have. He it came off the top of his dome. You know? I forgot I'm supposed to pretend like I'm using this microphone. Yeah. It's kind of hard. You're the to host right now. You're the host. You're the host. Right. <laughs> but here, let me ask you guys a question real quick. Okay. What, 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 in your opinion, is the state of wrestling right now? Like, would you say it's mediocre, and then we as wrestling fans are just pumping up, thinking that it's like really the best thing, or do you think the talent is not being used the right way? And I, and I'm not just talking WWE. I'm talking about the AE, the all the all the brands. You know all the brands. Like, what is the state of wrestling right now? I mean, I feel like you could say it's a combination of both of those things. Like, there's definitely some talent that aren't being used properly and or at all. I mean, like, look at some of the names that got released. Like, they weren't being used or barely used. Like, Alistair Black, Buddy Murphy. I know right. Alistair Black's a rough subject. I'm very sorry to bring him up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Selena, even, even like if you want to go earlier, like Selena Vega. Yeah. You know. But wrestling fans are also fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So it and anything and everything can and will be blown out of proportion or hyped up when it doesn't need to be, and like canceling people is so prominent now. It's all because of Twitter. Yeah. That's literally mm -hmm. it. I don't know there's a lot to have hope for though too I there mean is. you know like you know because NXT is consistently great you know mm -hmm. uh, and you know with, with all the fans coming back to, to these shows too like like AEW has been you know I, I, I still don't watch that consistently but it's the product gets better over there too Raw's even looking it's not sucking anymore so you know mm -hmm. it, it, there's, right. it feels like they're starting to kind of turn the corner and I guess as much as it sucks, you know, cutting all of these these ta these talents and these contracts off, you know, maybe that kind of gets them to a point where because I talked to to TC about it, um, that you know that there, there was a time way back when when they did this, and you know they started to utilize these different talents in a whole lot of different programs and you know 
it, it started, you know, giving us some different results and we got some, right. some really good TV. So it's like, that could be where this heads. And as we go into the summer, we'll find out, but it's like, they kind of, they went through, they went through it. They went through right. it in the last year. So, you know, they could be turning a corner. That's, that's how I look at it. Just optimistic, really. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, the look. wrestling, it's really hard to say because right now you have more companies than ever kind of allowing wrestlers to make a livable wage. Um, and out with the, like the internet has been great for the fact that now wrestling is available at the touch of a finger and you can go anywhere and wrestle for anyone and make a decent amount of money and they can promote their shows across the world. You know, you're not tape trading to get stuff from new Japan or anything like that, but also it's not mainstream in the way that it used to be. And I think part of that is because the wrestling is probably the best that it's ever been. Um, in ring product wise and that's not people want to see the reason why like the attitude era stone cold was so big is because he was punching and kicking people and beating people up like he wasn't really going out there and hitting suplexes and spine busters or you know suicide dive shit like that like and all that yeah people that got into wrestling would see that and be like oh that's really cool but like they got into it because they wanted to see someone who was just gonna fuck somebody up Right. And Stone Cold yeah. was out there fucking people up. The majority of the top wrestling matches in the Attitude Era were all punching and kicking and brawling out into the crowd yeah. and brawling ringside. Yeah. Because people oh, yeah. wanted to see people fight and they wanted reasons why people were fighting. Yeah. yeah. They weren't necessarily into the beauty of the actual in ring product and what it comes to. Agreed. Agreed. That's a good point. Like, because, like, I've always, you know. Like during the whole like you know when there was no fans and all this like yeah it, it was it was it was uh, something that it was a challenge, but like I feel like to what Rick was saying like there's people that stepped up you know, and then I feel like now that crowds are coming back like those people that stepped up um like are kind of gone like they're not really like using them as much as they used to you know, and uh like I, I just kind of just don't want them to you know to to lose some of those people that have been there like for the long haul like really trying to bring those fans back and keep keep it entertaining now that like there's crowds back like will they go back to being like oh this is what the crowd's gonna like or this is you know what i mean like they really gave wrestlers a chance but i agree with all y'all um the other thing i want to ask y'all is uh, um what do you think is the state of the wrestling fan so good <laughs> uh it, it 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 really depends because i, I to me there's tears mm -hmm. there is your absolute garbage who is just negative for whatever reason they look for any excuse to complain bitch and moan mm -hmm. and it's like nothing nothing is satisfying to them mm -hmm. there's the ones in the middle who you know they they could be good one day they'll be bad another day they won't make up their mind to, for nothing mm -hmm. and then there's the people that you know understand that a it's a business and you know b it's not going to work every single week but you're trying new things to right. see what you know to see what's going to fit at the end of the day, it's people that are understanding. So, right. I mean... And which fan are you, Reek? Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> Shouldn't have opened your mouth. You know, I, I hover in the middle ground. I will not deny that because sometimes I can admittedly be a little unreasonable, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm striving to just get out of that. It's just... it They, they make it hard for me. That... I don't, know what to, I don't know what to tell you. The negative little Nancy over there, aren't you? No, no, no. Only when, I think it's only when it comes to storyline continuity. <laughs> yeah, it's very mad. Right. I, I, I take that. I take that seriously because so do I. we. I mean, we come from a time where storylines were essential and they were consistent and they, they meant they something. did they when they started they finished. You know, no matter how short or how long they they got to from point A to point B, and it didn't get like screwed up or halted right. or have some stuff out of the left. So, sometimes there, there were some that were a little choppy and screwy, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like for the most part, you know, you, you the, the storyline was what drove the programs. Nowadays, you know, you just have. I, I was I was saying this earlier. You just had Ginger show up on Monday Night Raw randomly after being 
in purgatory for who knows how long, and he wrestles Jeff Hardy, who <laughs> don't know what happened to him. Right. And it's like, then they both vanished the week after that. Like, uh, they gone. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> I don't know how Jeff Hardy hasn't made it or has made it through all these fucking cuts. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> Especially after people. hanging on without falling off anything in a long, long time. Mm-hmm. He hasn't hurt himself in a little bit. Uh, uh, for me, no. Oh, go ahead. I was say he, he's getting old, so you know. Well, that's his whole appeal is he falls off shit. If he can't fall off shit anymore, what's the point of having him around? Um, for me, <laughs> me included, and I mean this when I say this, uh, wrestling fans have always sucked. We have always sucked. Now, idiots like us get to go on podcasts and tell everyone how much we suck, or go on Twitter and show everyone how much we suck and yeah. fight with other people who suck in different ways than we do and some people suck more and some people suck harder but we all just fucking suck none of us want to enjoy the product we want to write the product and we want shit to happen the way we want it to happen and when we don't we get upset because we think we know how it should go but we're not getting paid to fucking do it we're mm -hmm. not the ones making the decisions we're not the ones writing the stories and we're not the ones getting paid to act the shit out but we all think we know how every wrestler should react to every situation, how every storyline should end, what wrestler should be pushed, which one shouldn't be pushed, this and that. And like I said, this is me included. Like, I do this shit because I'm a shitty wrestling fan. Because all wrestling fans are shitty wrestling fans. Mm -hmm. That's the tagline. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, is the tagline. to be fair, um, we only make fun of what we want to make fun of. So we're not really shitting on anybody. Yeah. So... But yeah, but I, to me, like the wrestling fan, to me, it's like, yes, you're right. Like they all kind of suck. But unlike the five of us here, which we, we want to bring people that don't know wrestling into the thing that we love, right? There's four of them. <laughs> Yeah, or, unless, cool. unless you're Are counting you, my baby listen, as well. Like, I, I was counting the trial. You know what? The whole math thing. I was just trying to take that away from Katie. You know, what I'm saying, showing that I don't know how math is done too. See, it, well, if that was the case, then someone would have had to told tell you that it was four in the chat, and then you would have had to say five anyway. You yeah. know what? And, and Katie told me. So, yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Continue. But what I'm saying is, like, you know, at, at least, like, you know, we try to make people feel comfortable about liking wrestling instead of coming in like a sweaty ass nerd and shame. Like, oh, do you know his real name? Do you know he eats for breakfast every day? It's like, yo, I just, I just like this match, man. Like, what, what do I have to know this whole person? Like, do I have to know the birthstone too? Like, what the fuck? You know, like, get your ass out of here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, did you know that uh, this person gave blood transfusion in 1994 for you know, like, no, man. Shut your ass up, man. Nah. You know? There we go. I mean, that's, but, uh, that's true. Like, there's there's passionate, and then there's, like... It's still real to me, damn it. Fucking, like, you're pushing it. It's kind of, like, weird. Like, creepy male wrestling fans at... Oh, my God. Any and all photograph signing things. Yes. With women. Yes. Like, and, yes, I understand these fans... Making us all look bad want to make an issue about like yeah we paid money so we get to no you dumb ass, don't you don't mean you get to touch them like that exactly no. have you seen I mean, the granted, ones for it's... Alexa Bliss and now granted other side of the coin it might not be shown as much female fans probably do the same thing to the male oh yeah come on, now. come on but the creepy male fan is more prominent in those situations yes. like the Becky Lynch, like, clenching her fist like she really wants to, like, deck this dude. Mm -hmm. I would have done the same thing. I actually would have hit it. And, and like, like by, 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 by comparison, people say that, oh, yeah, I paid to get there. You paid to get the strip club, too. That don't mean you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can look Thank like you. you can't touch. Nikki Bella. Right. Depends on how much you pay. Okay. Yeah, you know, and, and with, with, you know, in particular establishments, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's also saying. true. If you know what you want and you've got the money for it, then you go where you can pay for what you want. I'm gonna lie, I, I hit Matt. You, you know, you my, you my boy and everything. But every time you're about to make a serious point, your daughter grabs your beard, and I cannot. I have to like look down because I'm trying not to laugh. That's her saying, "Shut up, Daddy! Don't say it." She's yeah. like, oh, no, no. 
It's like the logo for Evil Dead where you see the hand, but it's on your beard, you know? There you go. You're not going to remember any of this. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. Is this the first she's time like... she's come on a podcast? I don't think it's the first time. It, I, it I think the uh, Christmas party? Right? Oh, being recorded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nothing that went up on Pornhub, clearly, because <laughs> clearly, don't worry, this is not going on Pornhub. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> it was, we'd have a serious problem. <laughs> Y'all can't steal my fucking format, my name, and go on Pornhub. That's not how That's this awesome. shit works. In all fairness, that ain't me stealing your format. And I joined when the name was already chosen, so you can't blame me for any of that. Why there's an there's another wrestling podcast on Pornhub? No? Nah, just that man. man. <laughs> oh, bless it. <laughs> He's talking about like weekly uh, recaps instead of. Oh nightly. yeah, I heard that on the two hundred. I heard that too. Which, I uh, mm. like. I heard that too. Again, none of my, not me. I am gonna miss doing like my my raw recaps. Those are always fun, but... Spe speaking of, did anybody listen to the recap tonight? Because apparently it went up, or it was on Twitch. I heard part of it, but I was driving home, so I didn't, like, watch it. Yeah, I was in and out. Yeah. All right. I didn't have a chance, but I'm definitely going to try to uh, look look back on it on Twitch. Shout out to those guys, though, Aaron and Kyle. Shout out, shout out. Shout out, shout out. It should yeah. be on... The, it's on think? Twitch already. Well, it's yeah, it's gonna, uh, it's in the VOD for Twitch, but yeah, I saw it on Twitch. It well, I'm assuming it'll be up way before this goes up. I don't even know when I'm posting this yet. Okay. I, haven't, I haven't decided. And oh, oh, damn, you I'll guys to it tomorrow. Huh? Oh, oh wait. We'll go ahead, read it. Okay. And, and you guys are recording this week too. Uh, yeah, Savannah and I are doing the She Lead Showcase because it's She Lead Showcase. On Thursday, uh, July first. Again, I don't know when this is actually going up. Uh, is it gonna be on Twitch too? Yeah. Is it gonna be on Twitch too. Okay. Yeah, Twitch.tv slash SmackDraw podcast. We're going on our Twitch. So you're gonna okay, okay. So I gotta play. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'll send you a link. All right. Nice. Thank you very much. I oh, appreciate that. You're welcome. Say, we, we will. Uh, we will be in the chat. Oh, mm. I know. The three. Of what time is that gonna be on? Hold on. What time is it gonna be on? Uh, 9 p.m. EST. Okay, cool. So when we're done recording, I'll definitely try to hop on for sure. You're just, you're just not gonna go to sleep, huh? Oh. You're just, you're just not doing that. Okay. It's not happening. That's gonna be dope, though. Are you excited for the she elites? I am. Like this is, so like the debut is gonna be like a little different because like we're just like starting back up, but then our format for the other ones, I have like <laughs> play it planned out. <laughs> Sorry, I, can't. I know. I was like confused. Oh. I wasn't looking, and then I was like, "Oh, okay." So adorable. I know, right? But like, <laughs> so you're, so you and Savannah. Let me get this straight. So you and Savannah are gonna be like host slash co-host. Or are you gonna be the host, and she's gonna be like, you know, like, okay, I should be, I should be careful how I use my words. I don't want to say number two, but um. <laughs> You mean like co-host, like co-host, or uh, yeah. shout out to Savannah? Yeah. Shout out to Savannah. <laughs> shout out to Savannah. Yeah. So uh, since I've this is like her first like podcasting experience. Uh, I mean, she did. Uh, is it? I thought she was on Matt's. Well, yeah. I was. I, I was getting there. She did. Oh, okay. a she did a predictions episode with me. We popped her cherry. Gross. That's true. That's very um, true. No, technically I did. Because I did a predictions episode with her, and then like a month later. <laughs> Justin's losing his mind, and then a month later or something, her and I were on Smackin' It Raw, and this was before Vince was a host, I think, wasn't he? Oh yeah, way before that. Was it? Yeah, I think so. It was, it yeah. was uh, in between when I had Vince and when Travis like took a month off, and I just had to keep grabbing guest hosts because yeah. <laughs> I mean, was there was literally time. an episode where it was me, you, and Reek. Yep. That was actually, oh yeah, that was the first podcast I did with Reek. It was, yeah. Uh, we went on there. Uh, Vince came on there. The infamous mute gate with TC and Vince. Oh, um, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Well, that happened during 
I was on vacation. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. That was that's different. Right. That was that yeah. was later. Yeah. Vince wasn't on the show at that point. He was still smack draw at that point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was gas That was that was funny. Was <laughs> he actually was like, what the hell happened? Is that before my time? Uh, it might have been. It was 2019. So. Then yes. Definitely 2019. It was. Then yes, before my it time. was. I'm not even out of year yet. No? When did you come on? When did you start? July? Uh, like late July? Beginning of August. Oh, okay. I think oh, it was. Yeah. So the only reason. I, I don't remember the date of like the episode of Raw, but I did a Raw recap. And it was the first night that Dominic Mysterio was on. Like, I think that's the night he got like beat the shit with Kendo Sticks. Oh, right. With Buddy? Yeah, so okay. that was that was my first like raw recap. That was my first recap ever. Okay, okay, okay. It was me, so, Kyle, and Kevin. So I don't know. I go. don't know if I heard the story, but how did you get recruited by them exactly? Oh, okay. It's a fairly easy story. Um, so I tweeted one day because I was just like, you know, pandemic's rough. I got nothing to do. I'm sorry, that's just too fucking precious. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, I just tweeted. I was like, what's your girl got to do to get on, keyword, on a wrestling podcast? I never expected this. Uh, Steven from Wrestling News World hit me up. He was like, I have a friend who is looking for an AEW person. Because I was mainly tweeting like AEW stuff because I was more of a fan of them at the time. I mean, I still am, but whatever. And then he got me in touch with Kyle. I had a Zoom interview. It was very weird. I was like, this is... I, I wasn't, like, used to that. This was, like... Were you nervous? Were you nervous? I was very nervous, yeah. Okay. Because I was just Did like... Did you dress up? Did you dress up like a real job interview? I literally put a wrestling t-shirt on. I was like, good oh. enough. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Good enough, good enough. I was like, it's not a job. Yeah, hey, like, listen, you don't know who's calling you. You don't know who's calling you. You know? I, I'm just like, he's interviewing you. Even you though popped up you. and it was fucking Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, I'd hang up. I'd be like, there we go. But no, I had, <laughs> I had an interview and he like DM'd me the next day or two days later or something mm. saying, same, uh, saying I had like a good podcasting voice and stuff like that. Right, right. Right. Uh, and asked me if I wanted to do it. I was like, yeah. And then that's how I joined like the group chat. I ended up doing. I think that was like a Friday. He like invited me on. And then my first podcast was the following Monday. I mean, you had to be excited though, right? I, I was mean, very excited. Very very nervous. I don't remember. It had to have been live. Oh, if it was on Twitch, definitely live for sure. Yeah. yeah, I I just can't remember that far back. I just remember having a lot of technical issues because it like I didn't have my gaming PC yet. I was on like right. an older laptop. I was you using, started. You I was using, started. Uh, like Apple headphones, so mm -hmm. I have like the mic right here. Yes, right. Matt, do you have a question? I was just wondering what male strip club TC found Rican. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, 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 I'll tell, I'll tell mine. You finish yours. <laughs> I, I mean, mine was basically that was basically it, and now here we are, almost a year later. I nice. host and produce, and I guest on other podcasts. Like uh, Ariane and I actually are going to be on uh, Apron Bump the fifth, July fifth. We're doing. Oh an shit! You doing Kyle? You doing Apron Bump's thing? Oh, that's yeah. So dope. that's so that's. Uh, gonna be my first time doing that podcast. Yeah, yo, he's with, a funny guy, man. Shout Justin, out to Kyle Apron Bump, man. Justin, when am I gonna get on Get Show? <laughs> if if y'all ever hey. make listen, it. listen, like the listen. last one, bro. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. I mean, we 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 do not know sometimes what the shit, what the hell we're gonna be talking about. We have like some notes and shit, but. We really don't know what we're talking about until we hit record. Like, so all that shit that you hear when we do it, we, we don't know. And then, like, we, because we don't really know what we're going to say, we don't want to embarrass ourselves in front of our guests not knowing, you know? So, like, 
you know, it's kind of like one of those things where, like, man, sh- you know, we want to have guests, but we're so, okay. like, unprepared. It's so Time off out. the top. Time out. You know? What the fuck just happened tonight? <laughs> like, I had not just like, that. Yeah, but, you, but, but here's the thing. Sometimes, sometimes you, you, um, sometimes the thing is, we're calling an audible, like, literally, while we're doing the Zoom, we're texting each other, like, yo, 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 get off this topic. Let's, let's talk about something else. Let's get out, you know. So, like, let, let me, let me tell you something, bro. Every time we go to start recording, TC usually has like cliff notes, right? Yeah. But we get on, he'll ask if I have a rant to do. And if I got one, I got one. If not, whatever. And then we okay. just go. I, okay. I don't have no notes to go off of. Everything you hear from me on that show is off the cuff. Off the Literally. cuff. I think, okay. there, I think yeah. there was one time I took notes, and I think uh, it might have been a recap or something like that because I was trying to keep up with the matches. But yeah, like everything else is just straight talk. I just gotcha. I just let that shit go. Straight talk. Shout out to Vince. Shout out to Vince. <laughs> Very true. I Very have true. never guested on a show where I had notes for that show or that anyone ever told me ahead of time other than like, oh, Vince does the NXT, so we're going to talk about NXT. But like, I'm going to run down what the fuck you guys are talking about and shit. I just show up and make shit entertaining. Yeah. Okay. So if okay. anyone should be on Get Show, <laughs> It should be me because if you guys say some dumb shit and embarrass yourself, I'm gonna make it funny as shit and I'm gonna fuck with you, especially Garn and Charlie. So <laughs> those motherfuckers got it coming. Shout so out to them. We all need to get you. Is what we're saying. Yeah, I, I haven't been oh, on either. So here's the thing: before we recorded like on this. Saturday, I did put the mic. Down. <laughs> you want to pick it back up? I'll pick, it back, it, back up. Up. I'll pick it back up. Pick it back up. Like, before I recorded on Saturday with Vince, Vince was like, hey, did uh, Justin get a hold of you and ask you if you were uh, free on the weekend to come to the studio? And I'm like, no, no, he didn't. He goes, oh, well, um, he, he did mention it to me. And I'm like, well, I'm glad I've got a secretary uh, <laughs> to pass that information along. Shit. Because Damn. he said, because he said Justin said he wanted us both to come down. I'm like, well, it would be nice if like Justin said, hey, on a weekend or like gave me a weekend or even said hey i was thinking about doing this or like hi something <laughs> or like hi um, hello damn that's fucked you know up, what happened man. okay hold up you know what happened you know how you told me how i just randomly pick a chat in the twitter thing <laughs> that's what happened and i realized that wasn't just the randomly picked part. vince <laughs> just <laughs> vince people? Just well hold on I, I i still have conversations of people i talked to in the past and you know, like some things had moved in my like column of messages, and uh, I thought I hit the Dragon Ball chat, but it wasn't the Dragon Ball chat. You know. Clearly. So. You just um, slide into yeah. the so that's my, DM. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> the studio is opening up, and trust me, um, when things get going, you definitely coming on board. And when we start doing things again with the Get Show, you know. Everybody's gonna be coming on board too. I swear, I promise. That's that's guaranteed. Like, if you, you guys could figure out how to do a Zoom call from the fucking studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, to do to do it in the studio because the Wi-Fi is sometimes shoddy over there. Um, we would have to do like the Zoom call thing, you know. So we would have to do that. So we have to like you know we'll, we'll, we'll work. That would definitely will work something out, you know. Oh, Everybody will get their time to be on Get Show. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I fucking hope so. One at a time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, cause I. Th- what's your? I, th- I think I think we all we all gotta we all gotta get on there at some point in time. It most definitely. Yeah, I I want to have you guys too. So you know. Go ahead, Reese. Tell your story. Yeah, what's your club you find you at? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, man. Let's please let's let's talk about this. There was, I mean, there there, there was a strip club, but we we went there. I wasn't found there. Um, <laughs> uh, no, nah, I. I met Malik first, actually, because I was there with uh, some guys that I used to podcast with. We were covering the fights because Professional Fighters League was out there for like the playoffs event, and I think this was the first one, the first one that we were doing. I'm backstage waiting for the post fight press conference, and we were like, uh, so, like they were all talking, so I went back there and I met Malik. So the next, the next event, um, we like talked for a little bit there too. And I got his, I got his like his info on Instagram and everything like that. And so, after I went off to do my own thing, I got back in touch with him, 
he told me that he was doing this wrestling show with his friend and uh i was like oh shit i you know i'm i'm a, I'm a fan I can talk all the time let's do a collab and shit so he's like yeah let's definitely do that so the first one we did was i think it was like february of 2020 and uh like i did two maybe three more after that before he was just like yeah listen we could use a third just join up with us and let's let's just make this thing work because we got a nice little chemistry here i'm like shit i was like i did, i never had nobody ask me to like be a part of their show so i'm like shit let's do it <laughs> yo, yo, yo. like I, so I, I i didn't meet tc in person i just i just met malik and then we just started doing the shows from there we all kind of just got to know each other and it just gelled it worked like that and it and it's crazy because like listening to y'all like i would have thought that y'all knew each other for years mm-hmm. nah. you know what i'm saying like the it's <laughs> like in another life y'all grew up in the same neighborhood you experienced the same things like into the same stuff like until you told me this right now i thought that you guys always grew up with each other so that's and why you didn't know he was in pa <laughs> It's fun, <laughs> and that too, and that too. Yeah, I thought that maybe he went out there for school or something, you know, something like that, you know, because like, you know, like, but now, yeah, that's crazy, that's crazy. Yeah, because y'all, y'all I, I say that too. Like, man, it's like right there. I say that too. Like a lot of times, we just be in sync, and I don't even, I don't even be thinking ahead of time. It just, it just comes out. So yeah. that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome to find good people like that. Let him like, finish. Too, like, just because I pick up the microphone doesn't mean I need to talk right now. Like, I'm gonna let him finish. <laughs> Uh, what I heard was Reek got catfished. <laughs> what? Whoa, what? Malik met you in Vegas, said, hey, yo, I got this podcast. Come do it. Hooked you up, brought you on, and then bailed on you and left you with TC. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It was the old bait and switch because that man is almost never on the podcast. And now it is you and TC. Okay. <laughs> okay. So before... I got before I started doing it. I don't think he had started doing like the the ball dogs thing, the the basketball stuff. This was before he started doing that. So the first couple episodes, I'd say the first couple months, I was doing it. We were all together. Then he got the ball go- ball dogs gig, and that started taking up a lot of the time. So then it was like, okay, me and TC just gonna have to hold it down, and he he'll be in when he's in there. And that that that's where we're at now. But like in hindsight, I guess it was a good thing that I showed up because you know this was gonna eventually happen. But right, it, it's it, you know it, it worked out. But yeah, he he was he was there initially. It just you know over time the schedule got a little crazy. That's why we call him Mister Twenty Four Seven. Right. So you know it, it it works out. It's usually just me and TC, and you know sometimes we'll have Matt, sometimes we'll have Katie, and just throw some guest hosts in there. But mm-hmm. you know we 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 see Malik on occasion. It's yeah. not it's not regular but yeah he comes on he i mean comes it, on. It, yeah. it it seemed very much like a it ain't fun unless the homies get some sort of situation like <laughs> brought you in made you comfortable then passed you off like oh wow <laughs> i love that song too by the way that's like one of the best songs right oh there. man that's, yeah that's yeah, 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 dope, man. yeah i mean just... you guys, i listen to you guys that's like my mondays right there yeah it's fun mondays. young kings man Bunch of, did y'all did, did the name was the name or I'm assuming the name was already there right the Young Kings name or did yeah, y'all yeah. Call, okay so here okay it was already there all right yeah I think they were like what's the story behind that like do you know the story like behind the name or was it just so, like, TC liked or there was um there, there's actually before that became like it started off with Young King Sports okay. something that he was doing they he. He's talking about trying to bring that back, but I'm like, yo, bro, the way your schedule is, like, you know, right. we gotta, yeah. we gotta talk about that. But he gets that up and going, like, we can do that too. But like, Young Kings Wrestling kind of was kind of just like branching off of that, mm-hmm. and you know, TC came in to, to do that with him because you know he's always talking wrestling, right? And so they they, they kicked that off one day and they started just running with it. But um, I was like, yo, listen, I. This, this this works. I'm I'm down to do this whenever. Cause I I told them like yeah. initially when I first did it, I'm like, listen, anytime y'all I need me to come on or like guest host or whatever, let me know. Mm-hmm. So after a couple of them, it was like, no fuck this no. guest host shit. Just be right. a host, bro. <laughs> right. Now you now you part of the uh the group for real. Yeah, so I'm like, I love the say, name. Too. Say no more. 
shout out to you guys. I love the meme, Young Kings. You know, I love that. And the logo with the um, Kings of the uh, King of the Ring logo. That's also dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's like that. That's that. Pretty sure that was TC because he yeah. he does he does does like all the graphic stuff. So right, shout out to him. Shout, shout out to TC, to sir. That's that's the that's the the, the leg working guy, man. He puts in. All is the stuff that he it gets posted, mm-hmm. all the graphic stuff, like all that. That's all TC. He need to, IG. Come on, give him his shit back, man. Instagram, <laughs> bro. Give him his shit back. Let me tell you how pissed I was when he told me that because I I had just been on the page mm-hmm. like not ten minutes before that, and I left, and then I got the text from him that said they took the page, and I'm like. Bro, I was just on there. I go back, gone. Right. And we was at, uh, we was just about to crack 10K mm-hmm. followers. Yeah. Right. And I think it was like 5,000. We had about 5,000 posts up. Yeah. Damn. And it was in the middle of Black History Month. <laughs> As we were doing that countdown, you know, during each day, we choose a different wrestler and we yeah. give a little bio of them real quick mm-hmm. and post and some pictures. I think it was like the 26th or 25th. Smack in the middle of that, they took the whole page away. Like, disrespectful. Which is crazy. Instagram some hoes. I'm for I'm for real because there was something funny on a post that you guys put that I wanted to show. Like my brother, mm-hmm. I forgot what it was. It was something. It was something hilarious. You know how like they be. You know how BTC be putting on crazy posts sometimes. You know, <laughs> yeah. Re- referencing something, and I wanted to uh, share it with my brother, and then I go back to go look for it and then share it. Shit was gone. Yeah. You know. And I was like, "What? Wait a minute!" And then listen to y'all show like I think two episodes after that, like I'm like, "Oh man, this is what happened? It, it's wild, man!" And I don't see how could they do that to anybody's Instagram. I mean, I see people with like their posts from like way back, like from like 2011. Yep. Not like y'all had anything that had to like be taken down for any reason. You know? Yeah, they did. Which one? They yeah. highlighted that black female wrestler that WWE fucked up in the Hall of Fame. And they couldn't have proof that they fucked it up, so they took down their whole Instagram page. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh man, let me tell you something. If I if I ever find out that that's what went down, I I'm going to stand for tomorrow, and we can throw hands, bro. Like, <laughs> because when when I when I saw when I saw that that they 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 not only acknowledged her and put her in the Hall of Fame, I'm like, y'all didn't even play the right clip. Because the clip that we had up that went viral was from like them in in TD Garden, I think it was like in like the 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 fifties or the sixties, like bro, nobody was doing that. Yeah, and y'all didn't even play that clip. And it was like there was re- there was current wrestlers that were like retweeting and posting about it. Like I know Tamina did, Nia Jax. Yeah, uh, I think Jazz did at one point. Greg uh, Shane Helms. It was, it, was, it was definitely viral. It was going yeah, it, it went all sure. So I, I, man, when I saw that, bro, I was so pissed. Like, y'all got y'all got to see me, and it because it because this before right after it went viral, we did that interview with the guy that that made the movie, Chris uh, Chris, um, Chris Brunet. So we did that interview and like, okay, all right, cool, cool. Hmm. It, nothing, nothing. They ain't even mentioned him. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Like y'all wouldn't have that footage if the man didn't make the movie. They didn't have the footage. They had the wrong footage. <laughs> that yeah, yeah. That's just like somebody didn't do their research. And actually I think your page got taken down before that Hall of Fame. So maybe that's why they couldn't find the right shit. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Well they listen, they, they they stole it from somebody. They they steal shit all the time. Oh yeah. But oh yeah. Yeah. They were like yeah. Hey, these Young Kings wrestling guys, uh, they they did a beautiful highlight of this woman, and they did an interview and everything. You guys should go check that out. And they're like, oh, their Instagram page is gone, so uh, we'll just grab anybody and stick it up there. Nobody will know the difference. Sadly, that happens. Oh, that happens. That just happens. happened. Oh, that's true. It happened. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah. Going back I... to the She Elite thing, are, are we seeing shirts, merch, hats, bras, thongs? What are we seeing? What are we seeing? <laughs> what, are we, what, what kind of merch can we expect from Chi Elite? That's a smart idea. I'm just hey, saying, I'm can we get Reek to model those? Oh, they will sell out in seconds. 
tell you. Well, what what am I modeling? Like everything teacher? he said. No, no All sir. Of <laughs> All oh, of it. Oh, okay. I I don't think that is compatible with my. You gotta body do type. like the Playboy Shawn Michaels with the world t- with the heavyweight title. Oh my god. You gotta yo. do that, boy. There you go. Just, <laughs> you do the pose, let Katie I take the picture, and then we'll just put Stop. the Sheely logo over you. Ooh. Go. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. We get that done. <laughs> That's in not Vegas. money. I don't know what else it is. <laughs> I'm just saying, we get that done in Vegas. Nah. Oh, my God. I'm sure, I, I'll talk <laughs> to TC. I'm sure him and Malik got something we can do. Yo, can we oh, do a GoFundMe for that? Can we go yeah. do a GoFundMe <laughs> for that? What the fuck kind of GoFundMe do you need for that? They're both going to be in Vegas. All they need is a camera. Oh, I'm talking about the picture. The picture. The picture. Oh, that's true. Wait a minute. Hold on. We don't need a GoFundMe. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You mean an OnlyFans? Are you trying to get like you know what? An That's fine. I'm sorry. I meant to say only. This man <laughs> said GoFundMe so we can raise the funds to get Reek naked. Like, <laughs> pretty sure that shit's gonna happen in Vegas anyway. I think it'll be alright. Oh my god! At some point. I mean, if people are gonna raise funds, I guess I could, you know. Just it's for a good cause, man. Oh, I mean, it's for a good cause. Good cause. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all must be out your damn minds. But anyway, back to the question. If yes. you want to see Reek naked, all the money donated will go into that fund that TC started, <laughs> along with the Black Lives oh, Matter no. t-shirts. And that money will be put in the... Nope. Stop. <laughs> I did Stop talking. I did not say that. Nah. I did not say that. Nope, nah, nope, nah, nope. Nah. Oh, God. Um, but what was your question? <laughs> merch. Yeah, merch. merch. Um, nothing's, like, set in stone yet. I would like to have it. I would also like merch for myself, but that's, you know, to be determined. Uh, I think it would be, I would like to have shirts. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll do it myself, because what else is new? Hey, okay, there you go, girl. Get it. Just go get it. <laughs> go get it. You're not supposed to talk on the podcast like you talk to us. I don't know what you're oh. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna say that red light's going. Careful. I can see it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to be like, uh, what happened with us when we for- even forgot to put the uh, start to record? Yeah, yeah, you told me about that. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. But it's happened to everybody. It's happened to everybody. You know. Yeah. I've done it before. I think it was so just like me that- though, so I was happy. Well, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure it's happened to almost everybody on here, right? Happened to me. Probably. Yeah. And Matt's yeah. like, no, I'm professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's not true. Travis does all the recording, so we've never done an episode that we didn't record. We did an episode that I recorded that I uploaded to Travis, and he just said he could not find Like, it didn't – it said it uploaded on my end, but on his end, it wasn't in the Dropbox. Oh. Mm-hmm. But everything recorded. Remember? See, that's is weird. That, oh. Is that the lost episode? Yeah, episode 20, where we put over Goldust big time. <laughs> <laughs> like, no bullshit. We talk about how Goldust should be world heavyweight champion. It was, like, right when he made that comeback. And what was it, like, 2014 or 15? No. Oh, we yeah. Like, when he was really good around the Stardust shit, like, right before the Stardust shit happened. Yeah. Yeah, we were putting him over big time. I was on that bandwagon. Like, he was wrestling better than most of the other guys on the fucking roster. Like, hell I'm yeah. Killing it. Are you talking about like this is like 2014, something like that? Twenty. It was well, later no, because we've only been doing the podcast four years, so it would have been like 2017. Okay, yeah. 2017. Twenty episodes. We started, yeah, 2017, early 2018. Okay. Whenever, whenever Golden Truth was happening. Oh yeah, yeah. Because there was a time. Remember when like the Shield was first starting, and the and. The, the Rhodes family had that feud with the Shield, mm-hmm. and and um, Goldust had to have a match with Randy Orton, and if he lost, then he would be like retired. I don't know if you remember that match, but that match was fire. By the way, it was a Monday Night Raw. That match was dope. Yeah, and it was like yo, that that made me come back as a Gold Goldust fan, and uh, yeah, that was a dope match. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, yeah, um, yeah. Thank you, my man. Um, but yeah, that's a dope match. Definitely look that back up. Cause, uh, that was awesome. I, how he survived in that sweaty ass hot suit, I don't know. 
But I know a lot of areas in your body, you know, like between the thigh area, had to be like stank, you know. <laughs> and I know we talk about thongs. There's no way that man was wearing a full fledged underwear under that tight ass suit. Oh my god, okay, the, way, the way he'd be taking some of these pins and then <laughs> off, I, I'm ignoring Justin, crease. I'm just watching. You could definitely see the crease, you know what I'm saying, of a shape so of the man's ass. Like, what? You know? Your daughter just heard all of this. <laughs> she's all right. I understand that. She's my daughter. You don't think she's heard worse? <laughs> oh, man. Well. That is very yeah, okay. that's very true. <laughs> and, I mean, there was like moments when the guy was taking like doing like a suplex, and you could definitely see the silhouette of some like banana hammock type, you know, <laughs> eggplant type, you know. What the fuck? Do you know what a banana hammock is? <laughs> Who are you asking? Justin. Okay. Uh, elaborate, sir. I, I, enlighten me. I, I might well, have forgotten. Well, the, the banana hammock is the is the cloth material. So you're seeing a silhouette of a thong. Is that what you're telling me, or were you seeing the outline of the junk itself? I think yeah. So like when a body is in a in a in a hammock, and you know how they got that like curved part. You know what I'm saying? No, and no, but you can see the silhouette of the sack. The silhouette of the sack. Okay, because the banana hammock itself is just it's just the thong. It's it's the fabric. It's Oh, what yeah, the banana yeah, sits yeah. in. Oh, yeah, you're you right. You said you saw a silhouette of a banana hammock, and now I'm like, did he wear, like, some Natalia see-through fucking <laughs> bodysuit at some point? Because, you know, she don't wear underwear under that shit. Uh, oh? No? No. You didn't know that? Well, I mean... First off, if you look at the hips, there are no panties there. Second off, there was a video floating around and a whole episode on Total Divas where she was super embarrassed because the oh, picture she was floating around. Right. No, of her splitting her pants at her crotch and, like, Straight up vagina shot. Oh, that's true. That is very true. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Katie, do you have a, a title for this for this show? I thought it was uh, something about whatever I said. Wrestling uh, fans are shit or something like that. Well, I don't know. What were you thinking? I I, I now immediately rule for it to be called Silhouette of the Sack. No. Oh. <laughs> nope. This episode's not going on Pornhub. That's not how this works. Yeah, come on, Grace. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, yeah, wrestling fans talking about not wrestling and then silhouette of the uh, sack is also what I'm recommending. Like you could put, you could put in parentheses silhouette of the sack. I'm just, I'm just saying. Or <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> okay. I mean, just what? entertain it for a little bit. Just entertain it for a little bit. That's all we're saying. Nah. That's all we're saying. Nah. This is a this is a this is a creative meeting, real quick. Thank it's you. A brief creative meeting. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I mean, you gotta you gotta be open to ideas. Yes. I am I am you're, open. You're, you're running your own show now. You gotta be ready to listen to these ideas. I, Savannah's gonna have some pitches for you eventually. I appreciate on this. I appreciate the. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming up with ideas. I'm gonna veto that idea. Okay. Oh wow. Got to get professional oh, with it, you know. Okay, I see you now with the hair flip girl. Don't okay, new show by yourself. Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> okay. Okay. This oh, do you see the people now? Look at the people. <laughs> nope. But yeah, I, I I definitely can't wait for the She Elite show. I think I think you and Ivana definitely got like a a chemistry so I can't wait for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, pretty excited. Pretty excited. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I don't know. Like I said, it's going to gotten... be different. So. Can you, you give us a little a teaser on how different, like a format maybe? Or... Um. So, like I said, the first one on Thursday is going to be different. So it's going to be <laughs> just like us talking and then we're just mainly going to talk about like uh the nwa women's okay. pay-per-view they're doing oh but yeah. but then yeah. going forward i have like a set like not like schedule or anything but like stuff i want to make sure we cover so like i want to do um like a today in women's wrestling history thing so any year right. that day we shoot i find something we talk about it whatever a and little then, factoid 
so it's not gonna be like a recap of anything really we're gonna do like uh like bte evolution and dark or, or elevation whatever the fuck their other show is i don't watch mm-hmm. it but <laughs> we're gonna do right. that because like she lead is ba- her and i met because of the young bucks basically so oh okay we're taking like the elite part of that and so we're gonna just do like a quick re- recap of that stuff every show it's just not gonna be a recap so it's gonna be weird for me you're just gonna talk about AEW. Basically. not just aw that's that's gonna be a small portion of it i don't want to do just aw good because i said i won't listen oh i know wow. Well, because the only thing I watch is Dynamite, so like 90% of the shows I'm talking about those other bullshit-ass YouTube shows I refuse to watch. No, see, I don't watch them either. Like, BTE occasionally, I don't watch them either because I don't have time. So I'm literally just going to run down the match, and if I saw something on Twitter that I liked or seemed interesting about whatever match, we'll talk about it. And then you know what's I'll funny? Continue. I'll watch you know, anything you and Savannah do. I'm, I'm just bullshitting. You know what's funny? She, she laughed at that when you said it, so she must know it's trash, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He was like, those, those bullshit as YouTube shows. He was like, <laughs> so was uh, like How the okay, fuck are you going to do two hours of dark matches? Like, yeah. Fair enough. It's, I don't understand it. It's a lot. And then and then another hour of dark matches on a Monday before Raw. Because yeah. apparently two hours of dark matches on YouTube wasn't enough. Yeah. Nope. That's, a, yeah. That's, a, that's a hard no for me. Well, I also heard that, um, like when they when uh, SmackDown was doing that little like uh, thing where they were showing like showcasing like what things are up and coming, I I did hear Savannah saying that y'all is gonna talk about uh, New Japan too sometimes. Yeah, so New Japan is gonna be Savannah's thing. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. She has uh, another friend she talks like New Japan stuff with, uh, right. and they'll do like their pay per views. I'm just gonna I'm giving her full reign on that. I told okay. her she can do whatever okay, she wants with the New Japan stuff because I don't know about it. I don't watch it. I know some of the wrestlers. That's really it. Right. And she's right. very passionate. Ow. Very passionate about uh, New Japan stuff. So I'm letting her have that. Ooh. That's dope. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, I've, <laughs> you know, mo- because, like, you know, we're an Asian podcast. That's, like, our favorite thing. It's our favorite thing, but we don't talk about it because there's nothing funny to talk about. <laughs> so, like,. <laughs> It's hard to talk about something funny when, like, most of the shows, like, you know, New Japan is mostly serious, you know? It's like, it's like all wrestling and, like, this much entertainment. Right, pretty yeah. much. Pretty much, you know? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be dope, man. I, I really hope. You, um, guests? Poss- possibly guests? Guests? Uh, like your boy? Like your boys over here? Um, so or is it or is it women's guests only? I was going to say, if it's the She Leech Showcase, I feel like no dicks allowed. Yeah. <laughs> um... So, I plan on. I I guess I'll talk about it now. Uh, I want to do. No like a, shit, it's the super show. Talk about it. I gotta talk about everything. Apparently, uh, I yeah. do. I do occasionally want female guests, interviews, and stuff for She Elite. Um, but on the side, just me, I want to start doing, not like interview interviews like wrestlers and shit, but like start with like you guys. And like mm-hmm. have sit down conversations with you guys, like individually, not this shit, <laughs> not this shit. Show. Wow. But just to like learn about like every person's like podcasting thing, and then just see where it goes from there. Yeah. I want to start doing that myself. I like I'll throw like the smack girl name on it, but it's gonna mm-hmm. be like my thing. Right. That's gonna be cool. I think that's a great idea. I like Thank that you. idea. Okay. Don't worry, you first. Okay, you were you are the first three. I just haven't decided when I'm gonna do it yet. Hmm. No, that's gonna be cool because I mean it's kind of like a, a take on like you're kind of like because most of the time podcasts they want to like interview like something wrestle based, but like mm-hmm. you know just like every fandom, not everybody is just into one thing. A lot of people are into different things, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like you want to showcase that, you know. Yeah, I, like, so wanna, I, I just want to have like conversations with you guys. Like, it doesn't yeah. have to be just about wrestling. Granted, that'll be, like, that's how I met all of you. Mm-hmm. But that's not, that won't be, like, the main focus of it. Like, I have stuff in common with each of you, it seems right, like. Right, right. So, <laughs> fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Shake your head at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I like that. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. You gotta say, I'm excited. I support you no matter what anyway, so. I appreciate that. Thank you, Justin. 100, 100. 
Morning. Good. That's gonna be good. Yeah, like I said, yeah, I don't, I don't think know when I'll do that. We haven't uh we haven't gotten to hear a lot from Savannah too, so I think that's gonna be good to get her some little more exposure out there because I'm sure like it sounds like she has a lot that she loves to talk about. And uh, you know, it's hard to do that when you don't really have a platform. So mm -hmm. Right. So it's it's good. So what I heard was um Justin Santos will not be a guest on the She League Showcase, but Justina Santos <laughs> is more than welcome. Um, also, you've already spoiled one of her episodes by asking Re well, actually I did by asking Reek what strip club they found him in. <laughs> now, That's okay. We, we've, we've heard basically his entire podcast journey. Because right. after that, he met me, and then everything got awesome. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's all right. There, these are going to be spaced out enough where people will probably forget. I hell, I'll probably See? forget too. So, look at everyone. Hey, wait, I, I, you know, on the two. Hey, what's up? Oh my god, she's so fucking cute. Oh, it's, I love it. What are you By the way, about? like. On on this uh, Smackin' It Raw 200, I, I heard that all y'all got to do your picks of favorite guest hosts. Um, thank you very much, by the way, y'all. Um, but for me, I gotta say, because I didn't get a chance to choose mine, I was gonna say, um, definitely, if I could choose two, is definitely Reek and Katie. Oh, you know, oh, even I even though Justin that. from Hill Taxes said that y'all like part of the show, but it's like. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's cool. I like the dynamic with the four of y'all, with uh, Matt, Vincent, and uh, the two of y'all coming on. So basically, like herpes at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they're always there. You just never know when they're gonna flare up. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to File the File the Original, who was also a guest host on your show. Once. Yeah, I had Foul. I had uh, Frank Mandolini from yeah. uh, Last Minute Wrestling. Did you have Warren Hayes, I think? Uh, I did not have Warren Hayes. Um, I don't know that Warren Hayes is comfortable with Pornhub. I haven't oh, okay. asked him, but I don't... I, just based on his uh, reaction to the things that Jizzy says to him, True. I'm not oh, sure yeah. that our show... Oh, yeah, that's another Warren thing. Uh, Jizzy is none of one of my favorites that's obviously no. one of my favorites that's been on your show, you know? So. <laughs> J J Jizzy says some things that it's like some people's reaction is like they got a finger up the ass. It's like they just <laughs> well, so, now, <laughs> shout out. That's, shout out. that's, that's, that's the why right. that's the home girl right there. That's why I fuck with the people I fuck with because our show isn't for everyone. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. not it's, it always cracks me up when I talk to people. I'm like, so you should probably listen to our show so you know what we do. Blah blah blah. And they're like, oh yeah. And then I'm like, so you listen to the show? They're like, yeah yeah yeah. And then they get on. I'm like, so what are you spitting this week or? What are you swallowing this week? And they're just like, excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> thought you said you listened to the show. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we uh, spit and swallow every week on the show. Um, that's what we do. Also, I'm going to talk a lot about sex. Yeah. It's great. I mean, that's, that's, I think that, that that's why, I like, because you said, like, we, we just kind of fit right in. I think that that's what it was, because, like, one, I'm op really open minded, but two, it's like, I, I never really heard any shows and stuff like that where everyone was just kind of just <laughs> free flowing with the conversation from wrestling to oh you know we're just gonna spit this or swallow that or this mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. fucking sucks and yeah whatever it's like it, it was just it was like a fucking free for all but yeah. we're, it's where we're still talking about wrestling we just you know veer off and do what the fuck we don't want to do so it's like you know you just you just free to fucking chat. And that that always works for me. So I just get in there and just be myself. That's I mean, always fun. Smack and Raw was the first podcast I was a guest on. Smack and Raw. Yeah, I said Smack and Raw. Have you said Smack Raw? You said Smack Raw. I, I in my head I said Smack and Raw. Well, technically Smack Raw was before I became like a, actually part of the show. But Smack in It Raw was like my first so, guest appearance. I did. I didn't get to say this on our 200th episode, and I wanted to, but Kyle kept talking, and I never got it in. But um, <laughs> Justin said that he found us through Smack Raw Podcast. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, what I thought—not Justin Santos, Justin Heel Tactics. Yeah. Got to be clear. Yeah. Um, my twin brother, though, by the yeah, way. Yeah, your 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 black twin brother. Um, <laughs> I looked at it like this: it's like when you're growing up and you're poor. So your mom gives you cocoa roos, but then you get your first job and you can go get cocoa puffs for the first time. You're like, oh shit, I didn't know these existed, but these are awesome. 
We're Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. These are That's a t-shirt right there. We're Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you've been to Aldi or hell, Great Value. Yeah, Great Value. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come oh, on. Yeah. Go with it. Go with it. Come on. Cocoa Rooms. Oh my Damn. god. No, but I'll tell you this though, like, yeah, go, not just like Justin from Hill Tactics, my brother, but like, also me, uh, what's it called? Like, the first per, the first people I met, like that outside the podcast was like Vince. That seems right? to be a common denominator, is Vince. Yeah, v- Vince and Benji, who at the time Jesus both were back in Raw. Shout out to Benji. Shout out to Vince. Yeah, he actually showed the just fuck back up. He's not yeah. dead. He just resurfaced. resurfaced yeah. Uh, yeah, he finally came back. Shout out to him. <laughs> you know. So yeah. Yeah, Vince. Vince was like my segue into everyone because uh, I forget who went first. Because I know I think the first first I saw when we worked with someone else was when TC did the show with Vince right. and Travis. So yep. through Vince, we got. The first intro into Smackin' It Raw. <laughs> and then Vince, I knew, was on the Smack Raw sh- podcast. So we started watching that, too. And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who? Oh, the baby? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she. I was cutting her off because I guess she was she trying cut to say it. something. She's cutting the promo right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you cannot have that mic. <laughs> you can have this one. Here, you can have this one. You want to talk, talk. But that's cool. Yeah. Like that's how you met. Uh, how you met Vince and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to yeah, Vince was, uh... again. The man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vince just hit me up one day and he was like, "Hey, I think you're funny. You want to come on my show?" And I'm like, well, "Let me watch it first. <laughs> was that the draft? <laughs> was the first thing that y'all did? Was that the draft? No, uh, no, no, no. I guess hosted on. I well, he wants to do it again, uh, and wants you and me to come back as GMs and actually get it recorded and done right. Oh yeah, so we can whoop his ass no. again and have proof that yeah. I'm in. So, um, oh, I'll, all right. You no, know, I <laughs> okay. came in. I came in for an NXT episode when he was just hosting NXT. Like I said, he hit me up in the DMs. He goes, "Hey, like I know we have a similar name to our podcast and everything, but I listen to your show and I think you're really funny. Would you uh, like to come on and be a guest host?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I, I've been waiting for someone to hit me up and ask me to do that shit for a while. I don't know why it took so long, but cool. Uh, <laughs> let me let me let me listen to your show because I like to listen to someone's show and know what the fuck like I'm mm-hmm. they yeah. do when I go on there. Right. Like, I don't want to show up old and just be like, oh yeah, yeah. no, yeah. you guys yeah. have like things you do and skits yeah. and shit. I should probably know this. Right. Um. So I listened to the show and I thought him and RM were cool. I I told Vince straight up. I'm like. You guys are very, uh, very analytical. Like you guys take a one-hour show and spend an hour talking about a one-hour show, mm-hmm. and you really, really get in there and analyze like every yeah. move in the match. And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and crack jokes and make fun of you two. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm here for. So. I mean, that's how I learned how to do this. I was doing it like match, like almost beat for beat. And then I was like, this is exhausting. And then yeah. I started cutting that down. But now I don't do recaps, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't, like, it's what, what, um, when we started, like, of course, like, um, basically, I, I, we didn't know what to do, but I know I wanted to, wanted to be funny, like, make it casual for, like, people to, to know, yeah. you know? And, like, to people feel comfortable. Cause that's our whole thing, like, like, we just want to make people to feel, like, welcome when they're, like, you know, trying to get into wrestling or they know wrestling because yeah. we definitely want to be like them sweaty ass people that are like, oh, who do you know? And blah, blah, blah. You know, like, no, I was like, I, I like this thing. This thing is cool. And I think you should like it too. You know, like it should be welcoming. That's how it should be, you know? Yeah. And like, yeah, talking about the matches, like, like, you know, how what you're saying, like every podcast does, like it gets tiring, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. And I was doing that like three days a week or three times a week at one but then, point. But then again, you only had to do raw. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Never mind. I, yeah. And then there was points where I was doing Raw or NXT and AEW as a super show, not this kind mm. of super show, but and oh, it was no, definitely. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like doing that because they ended, it was like 
when they first started doing like the same night or something. I wasn't a fan. Yeah. I like yeah. I like them being individual. Whatever. Exactly. And you're trying to do it when like everybody else is trying to come on like at the same time right after you like right after the show like like exactly. there's like there's like a thousand podcasts doing the same thing you know exactly oh, but look it's okay her. I got more wind streams <laughs> <laughs> how I actually first heard of um, smacking it raw was actually watching that draft that y'all did <laughs> back in the day with like Vince Kyle and RN like a long time ago. Like long, long time this ago. This like, way before my time. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, this is definitely way before your time. It was like a, I saw it on Facebook, and right before okay. the episode actually started, there was a little bit of a snippet of y'all's conversation before it started. And Matt, you said, "Man, when Jim Raw messes up, that's like Justin from Get Show, like how he just <laughs> his names." And Vince was like, "That's his gimmick. That's what he does." And that's when I realized, oh, people listen actually listen to us. Wow. You know. So, I fucked with Get Show because of Daryl. Like I said, Daryl was always really, really cool to us, always retweeting our stuff. At oh, least made me think that Daryl listened to our show. Uh, I know did. he does he now. So did. I was like, yeah. well, if these people are going to listen to our show, I'm going to go listen to their show. Like, okay. And luckily enough, you guys were actually kind of fucking funny and cool, so I kept listening because <laughs> if you guys had sucked, that wouldn't have happened. But no, you guys were fucking dope. So I was like, all right. And you guys were really like, the first time I dipped my toe into like regularly listening to what I like to consider an independent wrestling podcast, not a podcast about independent wrestling, right? But a podcast that doesn't have anyone famous from the business in it. It's mm-hmm. just fans talking about wrestling. And I listen to you guys every week. Like I said, I, I knew all the bits. I, I mean, I forgot that one guy that you guys had whose name I can't fucking remember. That's uh, all right. You guys all sound the same except for you. Um, <laughs> I can't tell anyone. I can't tell anyone's voice apart except for Justin's, and that's just because he mispronounces names all the time. So I'm like, oh, that's Justin. <laughs> um, no, at this point, I know you and Jay, um, and obviously Charlie and Garn, because nobody sounds like Garn. Um, <laughs> shout out, though. Shout out. I love Garn. Uh, uh, he's an okay person. Yeah, I yeah. Like um, but yeah, no, like. Uh, the song that your wife did for the masks and mm-hmm. the sweaty sessions. And I, I got involved with you guys when I did that Hulk Hogan rap. Yes, he did. And that I was you guys back. Mm-hmm. I did a diss rap on Hulk Hogan. So they had a sweaty session where they were writing diss raps. And I believe, cause this is what happens with the get your podcast. <laughs> Someone will come up with a sweaty session and I'm not there. So I don't know how it goes, but I'm imagining like, the person that comes up with the sweaty session is like, this is what I want to do. And they explain it really, really bad. And then everyone comes up with their own idea of what they think that person meant. And then we get to the sweaty session and everyone's doing something kind of similar, but mostly different. Okay. Mm-hmm. So like somebody would write a diss rap about a wrestler and then somebody would write a diss rap as the wrestler about another wrestler. And then somebody would write just a rap as if they were a wrestler. <laughs> so nothing was like exactly the same, but it was all entertaining as shit. So I wrote a John Cena style diss rap yep. okay. about Hulk Hogan. Yep. I actually still have it. Oh, do it. Please I was do it. Say, that sounds familiar. I am unaware. It was the at the time it was the closest thing I had to going viral. All right. Love that. Now, uh Reek, I'm gonna need your help at the end. I needed Travis's help too, because I can't say things Uh, (laughs) you're about to be a two-time hall of famer who loves a cheap pop you should have been more like your ex-wife and put the younger talent on top you buried wrestlers left and right and for that you get rewarded you're like the donald sterling of wrestling careful what you say when it gets recorded you fucked your best friend's wife no wonder macho man didn't trust you hulkster's always been a piece of shit so john cena's here to flush you you commanded crowds on the mic but your in-ring skills they lack Do us all a favor next time and keep your mouth shut when Brooke gets blacked. (laughs) You only come around when you're broke. Go figure. And to quote Booker T, Hulk Hogan, he's coming coming for you, you. nigga. (laughs) (laughs) So I wrote that. I recorded it. I put it on Twitter, tagged them in it. Did all right. Did all right. That's. Did all right. That's actually fire. Damn. That is. Yeah. Like. Okay. That was great. That was great. 
When um, so going back to what you said, man. Yeah, so Daryl was listening because me and Daryl we have an addiction for podcasts, you know. And so like he was telling me about you guys and everything like that, and like yeah, then I started listening too, and then I started coming on and listening every. At that time, was it still Saturdays that you guys were dropping episodes? Yeah, well, like, no. Early on, we were dropping episodes. Oh, was it like, like Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday or Thursday. Friday? We were yeah, recording so on like, Wednesdays, and we were dropping on like Thursday or Friday whenever Travis got it done. Right, and so like once you all did that rap, like yeah, I was like, yo, man, these guys are, are dope as hell. I, I love, and then the fact that you guys are also from Chicago also like was actually an awesome thing too. It's just that I think that was like November of 2019. I know that for sure because I know that we were trying to set up some things and then the whole pandemic thing happened. Yeah. So I, so trust me, you you were definitely on our mind. What what Justin means by we were trying to set up some, some things is I kept DMing them and saying, hey, uh, is it cool <laughs> if I come on? Do you guys think so? And they're like, yeah, we'll we'll talk to the guys, and then never got back to me. To be to be fair, I wasn't on Twitter at that point. No. So. All caps media didn't happen yet. <laughs> there were some very awkward conversations between me and the Get Yo podcast because I thought I was only talking to Daryl and I didn't realize everyone had access to the Get Yo account. So like there was one time I think I invited Daryl on because that's who I thought I had been talking to. And I was like, hey, why don't you come on the show? And he goes, like, do you want all of us? And I'm like, well, no, man, I only really fuck with you. So why don't you just come on? And he goes, oh, well, you know, maybe we'll, uh, I'll talk to the guys this and that. And like, I had no idea anyone else could see that conversation. Like, I just thought that was Daryl. And then, like, I got, I think, a message back from Justin, and I was just like, oh, yeah, well. Probably Jay, too. I, I thought you guys were all Daryl. Like, I thought everyone was Daryl. <laughs> so, uh, because I had said, hey, I, I'll go meet the guys. I'll this was after I had been like, hey, like, I'll come down. You know, you guys record in the studio. I'm from that area. Like, I know Bolingbrook. I played football over there for right. in the south suburbs. Like, I'll come down and check it out. Mm -hmm. and get on the show i think it'd be fun and they're like yeah we'll get back to you and i'm like dude they're not gonna hit back some weird white guy that wants to come down and meet them and pub like no they're like oh yeah we'll, we'll get back to you fuck that guy like that's what i thought <laughs> and then all of a sudden daryl and justin were like hey can we come on your show because we started doing you know guests with jizzy and i had another month where i, did, I just need a guest host so i was like yeah fuck it and then uh, Daryl made me take the show off Pornhub because reasons. So I got a frantic text message like, hey, can you pull our episode down from Pornhub? And I'm like, I'll talk to Travis. Like, I don't handle any of that shit. I'll just die. <laughs> oh, man. I it's funny that. when he mentioned that to me. He's like, yeah, I think I might have to get that, that episode down. I'm like, so now I have to get on Pornhub the legit way? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. Well, I remember talking to Justin and – I'm not going to go into details because I don't want to put that man out there, but uh, Justin's like, I let everyone know that needed to know what I was doing and where I was going to be, and Daryl might not have done that. And when I talked to him and he's like, hey, did you tell you know people that you were going to be there? And Justin was like, yeah, did you? He's like, eh, no, not really. <laughs> so uh, when when word got out of where he was and what he was doing, um, yeah, certain parties were not happy, and we had to take the episode off. It's still available in audio form if you want to go check that episode out. It's a great episode. Uh, cannot find that on Pornhub. Damn. It is a fun episode too. And that was one of our <laughs> first episodes on Pornhub too. That was like right when I started. Was playing. it? No. Yeah. Really? Oh, I thought y'all been on Pornhub the whole time. No, Travis went back and uploaded a bunch of shit to Pornhub, okay. but like when we first came up with the Pornhub, like when I first came up with the Pornhub idea and was like, hey, we should just do this. Um, yeah. It was around that time. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's an awesome idea. I really figured that's why everyone just started fucking with us was because I was like, hey, you want to make your Pornhub debut? And everyone's like, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Fuck yeah. those guys, but yeah, put me on Pornhub. Yeah, that was definitely a conversation starter in my DMs. <laughs> I was like, um. Okay. I know this is going to sound awkward, but want to get put on Pornhub, kid? <laughs> I don't think calling me kid would have been the smart idea. I mean, have you never wanted to be on Pornhub before? I'm telling you, come on now. You're up there with some of the greats, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they are, what, in the top 100,000? We were. We fell out. We're working our way back. Oh, uh, I'm going to get you. I'm gonna get you exact numbers right now. 
Alright, while you do that, I'm gonna oh, you try to find the, the, the DM you, you sent me. <laughs> you have to scroll way back for that. I know, I'm going. I'm about to say, that's, that's going. Time. We are 100,279 with 7.1 thousand views. Yes. <laughs> Get it, boy. Get it. The 200th episode currently has 50 views. Yes. The hey. last episode with Katie has 73. Ooh. So what you're saying is Pornhub loves Katie. That's what I'm... The other last episode with Katie has 123. How about the episodes with... What about with Rico on it? What we got? Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. That'd be looking. over 100 for sure. Uh, WWE release day has 208. That might be our wow. highest one. Um... Those wrestling girls got 183. Oh. There's one with Vincent out. Travis that has nine. Another one with Katie that has 72. Uh, Re Let's wreak havoc. 94 views. Let's there go. You go. There you go. Okay, I dig it. That's that was funny. back when Reek didn't have any fucking lighting. You could barely see him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> darkness. Yeah, yeah. Rough. It was rough. That was, I, that was a while. I feel like that was a while back, wasn't it? I was gonna say I had to make fun of him to get that shit out. <laughs> yeah, it, de it definitely was a while back. But yeah, so uh, what the consensus that I'm hearing is that Pornhub loves Katie. Right. Um, is that TC? I can't, I think that's TC. Maybe I don't know who is that. There's one. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's TC's episode. That's right. It's TC, Vince, and Travis. Oh, Two hundred and forty-two. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That, that nice. DC was all worried about seeing that dude sucking a dick next to his face. <laughs> 242 views on Pornhub. Damn. There you go. And hey, he was stressing for nothing, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get where you're coming from, but right. know, the views, like, come on, all the way up. Because cause that, that was a good episode. Like, as much as, much as Travis episode. was bugging the fuck out, it was a funny yeah. ass episode. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> now do you guys tell your work or anybody like in your family that y'all got a podcast or do you kind of keep it you know close to your best and just like anybody who cares then you tell them if they don't then whatever I, I, tell, I tell people I do it I don't go so much into detail like I, I talk about like the fact like I cover fights and shit like that okay. but uh, outside of that I don't really get into too much detail it's like yeah I podcast I do some shit but yeah. right. I try to keep work and the podcast as separate as possible uh, my family knows everyone knows um, my mother-in-law knows that her voice is on the yes. opening intro of Shout every out. episode that's on Pornhub wait that um, I that's what that, that is that's, yeah. that's my mother-in-law yeah. I had no fucking I thought that was like a, a, I, like a fucking voice lady. grab for something yeah, yeah. All right, so I will uh, I will tell you that story real quick um, okay. we went and picked my wife and I went and picked up her mom from the airport um and on our ride back i think i was listening to the podcast and like i shut it off because i know like her mom doesn't listen to podcasts and she's like why'd you turn that off and i'm like oh it's just our podcast she goes yeah i know i uh i love smacking raw. i tell all my friends to smack it raw and me and kate started crying laughing like almost had to pull over we were laughing so hard when she said it so i told her i was like is there any way i can get you to say that again but record it and use it for the podcast. So at Thanksgiving, I had her out in a garage and I was trying, like I had her say it a bunch of different times. I was like, no, no, I need you to say it the exact way you said it in the car. Like don't overemphasize it. Like just casually just say what you said. And I recorded it and I sent it to Travis and he was crying, laughing and thought it was fantastic <laughs> and put it in the intro. And that's where that came from. That wow. is dope. amazing. Yeah. I'm I remember you told that story on the baby shower. I think so, yeah. That was before yeah, the time, so. I was bawling, yeah. man. I never, every I never time heard I hear it, it, I think of the mother in law. Shout out to the mother in law. <laughs> Shout out oh, to that's the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, grandma. That's, what's that's up. grandma. <laughs> Here's another question Have you ever made anybody like that's non a wrestling fan a fan of wrestling just by you talking about it to them? I wouldn't say a fan of wrestling. They, as someone I work with, she was she was very invested in the dynamic of me and Kevin for some reason because I always really? yelled at him. Okay. Um, 
so she wasn't a fan of wrestling per se. I didn't like make her a fan, but she I... would listen just for me, which I feel like was a common theme with a lot of my friends. So, uh, I mean, look at all of us. I mean, eh. um, so my wife used to watch wrestling, but had been out it for a very long time, and then. Um, I had talked to a buddy of mine who had got his girlfriend into wrestling. Um, and he's like, yeah, I, you know, she really liked reality shows. So I had her watch total divas. And once she got invested in total divas, she wanted to see kind of more of the product and that we went there. So that's how I started to get my wife back into wrestling was, Hey, let's watch total divas. Cause I enjoy it. Like, yeah, I'm not going to sit here thing. and say, I don't like total bellas or total divas. I fucking do. I watch all that shit. Good job. Um, and then, uh, yeah, after that, same thing. Like, I'd watch pay-per-views. She really, weirdly enough, I think the thing that really got her back into it was Enzo and Cass on NXT. Nice. Like, she really loved Enzo and Cass in NXT. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. That's good. I wouldn't say I necessarily made anyone a fan. Uh, my, my, my cousin got into it. But that's just because, like, he kind of gets into everything that I'm into. Right. Like, I, 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 I've been a huge Star Wars fan from the time I was little, like, fanatic. And he got into that because I, like, I, I had all this stuff. Like, I had toys and video games, shit like that. And with wrestling, like, my, like a bunch of us, we would always play the different games. Like, I remember, I forget, I think I told Matt this. I had... WrestleMania 19 on the GameCube. I had Day of Reckoning. We had Warzone on N64, and then when when SmackDown versus Raw came out, we were always playing that. It's like we had all of that just in rotation constantly. And he was always around. He played with us, and then we occasionally watch some wrestling. And he just got hooked after a while. But I think that that's the only time I could technically say I got someone to be a fan. But it it, it didn't take much. Right. That's dope, man. Um, speaking of, uh, I, I heard you mentioned Star Wars. So, w- you know, what are we gonna, what are you gonna have me on the, on the recap and talk about that, man? Oh my God! Any, any time you want, bro. Because man, like, that's also my thing too. You know. Oh uh, man. Are you watching Bad Batch, by the way? Are you watching Bad Batch? Yes, I am. Okay, I, I, I just saw the the new one last night. Oh man, I need to catch up on the new one, but yeah, every I do, I love it. Anyway, um, that's beside the that's point. A dope show. I went on the Havoc Hour and we talked about Star Wars a little bit, and I made a complete total ass of myself because like I knew shit, but for whatever reason I was out of it and I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about, and I was asking questions <laughs> about people that I should have known because like I watched Clone Wars, and yes. I watched The Mandalorian, but yes. somehow like I didn't put two and two together from the characters from Clone Wars and then okay. the characters on The Mandalorian. Yeah. So I'm asking like, oh, who is this chick? And they're like, oh, that. I'm like, I should have known that. I'll fucking watch that shit. But <laughs> that's why I had to go put Rika in his place on that Halloween episode and show like I actually do know what I'm talking about when I come on these sometimes. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, for Halloween, I would think you know what you're talking so. about. I mean, <laughs> that's why. That's why I insisted that he has to be on when I do it. And then yeah, I would we gotta do it there to look pretty and just listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah. just like you right know, now. What's up? You, you get, gain some insight and decide, you know, that you're going to watch the rest of them so you know what you're talking about. And so, how did right. you enjoy Halloween 2018? Oh, that was so fucking good. I was sitting here yelling <laughs> at my laptop. I was home alone. So I was just like, no! It was so good. And I, so good. You th- I think you talked about it on that, uh, that Havoc Hour when, what's her name, Karen? Uh, her daughter is like standing at the bottom of the steps with a gun. That was fucking incredible. Holy shit. Mom, I can't do uh, it. <laughs> Bro. I, so I audibly, loudly clapped for that because that was fucking Are you clapping? beautiful. Beautiful. Um, not that I'm keeping time or anything, but I, I, we're still going, right? Because I think we. How long have we been? Too, too long, uh, I didn't even think about the fact that we're doing a show. I'm just talking. See, neither did I. Neither did <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, I was. I was about to just end the recording, and then we can just keep talking. Okay, because well, like for the people that are listening to us, this is a normal thing on some nights where we just talk. Yeah. yeah. If so, if people want to listen to almost two hours of us shooting the shit, but you know what? Fuck it. If you you still here with us. Then Shout you know out. what? You're gonna get a Sheila Lee t shirt. You're gonna get a free Sheila Lee. <laughs> Those t- aren't even a thing. Stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A free elite tampon if you're into that. You know what I'm saying? Wait, sir. <laughs> I mean, they're still here because I'm a draw. 
but (laughs) (laughs) all right go ahead start plugging y'all shit justin go first uh i am justin santos one of the crew members of get your crew you know um you can find us at get your podcast on twitter get your podcast on instagram Uh uh-oh reek (laughs) Oh. <laughs> I, thought I thought somebody else. Was, I thought somebody else was gonna just automatically jump in. You know, oh, I thought, I thought okay. you were gonna I, say I, more. Yeah, yeah, that's what I oh, thought. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're we're recording our hundredth episode this Thursday, there you go. and then we're taking a break. You know, for Hiatus. a while. I know, a little high. I know what that's like. You know, right? I mean, honestly, not gonna All be you motherfuckers wrong. in your arm taking breaks. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Sometimes you need a time to like two hundred. Episodes, no breaks. Shout out. Dang, no Which, breaks. Shout out. Shout four out. Four years, no breaks. Which, I, may, I may have taken a day off here or there. I'll no just breaks. say, you only missed like one episode Show that I've heard on. so far. <laughs> one or two. Show yeah. On. That's dope. Oh, uh, man. So, uh, yeah. Y'all can, so, you guys can find me at Reek Havoc24 on Instagram and on Twitter. You can find Young Kings Wrestling, which I am one third of. On Instagram at YK Wrestling. Uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram, you have to look up YKW Pod because Instagram is some hoes, as we done mentioned already. No. And you can find that on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you listen to your podcast. We just recorded episode 96 today, so that should be up sometime yeah. tomorrow. And finally, you can find the Havoc Hour on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast. I've got some content up there from the PFL this past week. The regular season just ended. Uh, trying to get an episode together for uh, for the, the, the playoffs, getting ready to wrap up here, uh, Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals. Mm-hmm. Doing a straight talk podcast with Vince tomorrow, so I'm going to talk a little about that too. Go but, Suns, go Suns. Yeah, go check that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going for the Suns. Yep, yep. Man. You guys can find me at Matt Ritter, that's at M-A-T-T-R-I-D-D-E-R on Twitter only. Also, you guys can check out Smackin' Raw Pod on Twitter and Instagram at Smackin' Raw Pod. Um, also, please go check out The Creation World, that is T-H-E-C-R-E-A-T-I-A World. There's a baby here, she's making noise. Um, <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram, we are also on Facebook, facebook.com slash group slash Smackin' Raw, facebook.com slash Creation World. Creation World is the banner under which we exist. And if you are unaware, and this is the first time you've seen me, I don't know where the fuck you've been, uh, we are the number one wrestling podcast on Pornhub. The link trees at Matt Ritter, that's at M-A-T-T-R-I-D-D-E-R, will get you uh, the Creation World link tree, will get you to YouTube and Pornhub. The Smack and Raw will get you all of the audio versions of our podcast. We just recorded episode 200, and all of the lovely people you can see here, even Justin, though he was only there for about 30 seconds, 30 seconds. made it on for our 200th episode to help us celebrate. Um, also four years running uh, we just dropped our 201st episode yesterday also featuring Justin uh, <laughs> sporadically so go check that out it was a lot of fun uh, he didn't kill anyone nobody was harmed <laughs> in the making of that podcast and that's all that matters and of course smack raw pod on twitter podcast I don't even know what it is anymore Kyle's trying to change it youtube.com slash smack raw podcast twitch.tv slash putting you over twitch.tv slash smack raw podcast the baby oh, is the best thing about this. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the MVP. The MVP. Shout out to Matt's daughter for being the MVP of the I, podcast. I, 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 is she, she plugging her socials? Yeah. Is she, is she, she going to plug no her socials? <laughs> <laughs> she won't have socials till she's 18 and out of my house. Damn. <laughs> uh, that'll be a conversation for after. But if you guys are still here, thank you so much for listening to the... <laughs> the two hours of us just shooting the shit i'm very happy thank you guys for doing this with me after i I begged and pleaded for a month and a half two months and then i had no plan when we got here yeah but look what happened magic two hours of magic well that's because i mean look at what you have here yeah i know that's child really (laughs) was like the mvp here look at her it, you have to watch the video. She's the cutest fucking thing ever. Just kicked over the mic. That's cool. That's fine. Fuck that mic. Fuck that mic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a perfect way to end it. All right. Bye-bye. That's right. Konnichiwa, bitches. Konnichiwa. <laughs>